so my whole life I've been a nerd. <laughs> wasn't it wasn't like i always read comics and stuff and was a sci-fi fan and a fantasy fan and all of that kind of stuff and when we found when i found adventures it was like i'd found that like oh this is my joint this is the place that covers everything i do because a lot of people a lot of specifically in fandoms and nerd culture are about one thing and they're obsessively about one thing and that's what that's what gets them that's what works for them you know and it's the same no matter what you're into music or books or you know i was never one thing i was always into lots and lots of different stuff and so when i found a store that had books and i could talk literature with people and it had comics, and I could talk comics with people. And it had toys, and I could talk toys with people, and like records and CDs, and it was just everything I loved in one spot. I felt like I'd totally found home. Um, Adventures has been here since 2007. Um, they opened the week of June uh, 1st, 2007. Um, and had they had been uh, an online business before that um and they had uh like they ran out of a started in their college dorm room and then moved into a like storage unit in finley and they just went and bought books and sold them online and uh they did that for a while, and then they decided to order a, open a brick-and-mortar store, and it was supposed to be a bookstore that sold the other stuff they were into, too. Some board games, some comics. So, um, they opened the shop, and uh, they decided to open brick-and-mortar, and it was this space. It's the same space, but you came in, and it was this giant, empty, cavernous hall with, like, some bookshelves and a small little stand of UCDs and a small little stand with some comic books on it and that was it and uh i had been getting comics from uh <laughs> from a guy whose store had gone out of business but he was still like ordering comics for people and selling them out of his garage so it was like the most black market like drug deal like hey man you got any of that marvel you know and so we were uh we ordered comics from this guy all the time and it was really weird but i hated it it was a big pain so we were looking for another comic book store and we saw the sign going up here and we're like third or fourth customers through the door and i walked in and i met logan and amanda the owners <laughs> And they were super quirky and weird, but I just took to them. I thought they were really, really cool. And they were playing, I'll never forget this, because this is, I think, what made Amanda and I friends, was they were playing an album by the band The Refreshments. Uh, the album's called Fizzy, Fuzzy, Big and Buzzy. And I didn't know anyone else who had ever even heard that album, let alone was playing it in a store. And I was like, oh, my God, this is Mekong by the refreshments. And they both are like, whoa, like nobody knows who that is. So I talked to him and we just like quickly became friends. I basically came in one day and Logan came to me and I was just shopping. And he's like, so I want to retire. And I was like, cool, man, like right on. And he was like, I need somebody to run the store who cares about the store is like i don't want just a manager i want somebody who gives a shit about what adventures is I wanted somebody who loved had a passion for the community of dysfunctional miscreants that keep us in business <laughs> and so that's me that's what i get to do like all day long i get to convince people that they should read a comic from 12 years ago that they've never heard of because it's the greatest fucking thing I've ever read. How have you not read this? You know. 
and I didn't quite understand the impact that the store had itself until I moved to California. And when I was in California, we lived in a little town of like 5,000 people. A couple of people came into the bookstore that I worked in there. <clears throat> and they're like, oh, you're new in town. And I'm like, yeah. We get to talking for a minute. And they're like, where are you from? And I'm like, oh, I'm from, from Washington State. And they're like, oh, Seattle, because that's what everybody says. And I was like, no, actually, the other side, I used to work in this little store called Adventures Underground. And they're like, in Richland. And I was like, shut up. No, you don't know Adventures. And... uh I became really good friends with them because they had been through on their way to Spokane and stopped here and remembered it. And we still get, like, if you read our reviews and stuff online, there's people from New York, New Jersey. We had a, some, a couple from Iceland that came in and all of, like, this place is incredible. And it started to kind of click how different it was than any other place because there's bookstores and there's record stores and there's... But this hub of everything is, just doesn't exist. And so then Travel and Leisure Magazine last year did an article on the best uh, comic book stores to visit in the country. And we got voted number seven, number first in Washington State, number seven, number first, number one in Washington State, and number seventh in the nation. So it was funny as the day we found out about the 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 travel and leisure thing. I <laughs> got up from my desk, walked out of the front of the store, and basically like it was like I'll be back in like an hour. And everybody's like, "What the hell is he doing?" And I went on to the other side of the the shopping complex to uh, a friend of mine, Jared Spath. Um, and got the logo of the store tattooed on my arm. And uh, it's funny because that's, that's, I have a lot of tattoos. That's the one that gets commented on all the time. People are like, holy crap, you really like that place. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I manage it. <laughs> and they're like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> so, like, cool, I'm going to get a Arby's hat over on this arm. Like, what the hell? <laughs> People just think I'm into logo branding or whatever. Uh, but it's it's been really cool. And the neat thing was seeing Amanda and Logan's face when they saw it. And they were like, oh, my God. Like, that was the, a level of commitment that they didn't expect, I don't think. Like, I'm going down with the ship. I'm going to ride this fucker till it's done. Like, I really pretty much, I realized the other day that I'm not what people would consider, like, a successful person. But all I ever wanted to do was talk <laughs> about the shit that I'm into. And I literally get paid to do that. I'm as successful as they come. Because <laughs> I just do what I love. It's pretty awesome.